interrupt your programming on WMPB in Maryland Public Television. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. The following message has been transmitted by request from the Amtrak Board of Directors, Conrail, and Operation Lifesaver. At around 3.11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, tens of thousands of 911 calls poured into the hotlines. A head-on collision at the Edgewood cutoff has occurred near the gunpowder interlocking wreck of 87. So far, there are no reports of casualties. Stay tuned for further updates. Programming may resume now. We interrupt your stations on Maryland Public Television. This is an emergency update to the wreck at Edgewood, Maryland. Conrail train number XWB42 and Amtrak Extra 390 and Conrail coal train number up 22 b have fully derailed and caught fire. A 4,000-foot wall of flames have shot right into the air. A mandatory evacuation has been placed for the Baltimore and its surrounding areas until further notice. The NTSB and fire rescue are miles away from the crash site. Stay tuned for further updates. All aerial firefighting tankers have been called in to extinguish the flames. It is very likely that all three of extra 390s locomotives were totaled in the wreck. Locomotives 390, 604, and 620 were all derailed in the wreck, as well as the five Conrail and three CSX locomotives when they collided head-on. Also, it is confirmed that nobody was killed, but six people were hospitalized for critical and severe injuries. Tune to your stations surrounding your area for later statements from Operation Lifesaver and the NTSB. Stay tuned for further updates. The NTSB has launched an investigation to what caused the crash. Fires are rapidly dying down, but still can cause second-degree burns if touched. Again, it is most likely that all 11 locomotives and 111 of the 147 freight cars involved in the wreck will be sent for scrapping later on. Listen to later statements from the NTSB and Operation Lifesaver. Jerry Hall, who is the president of Operation Lifesaver, will also make a later statement on behalf of the Federal Railroad Administration. Stay tuned for further updates. flash and critical bulletin, fires from the derailed freight cars have ignited on fire. Flames are as high as around 4,000 feet. The materials that were derailed had hit an electrical wire circuit and have ignited the following into the air, red, white, and green phosphorus, gasoline, diesel fuel, nitrocellulose, glycerin, combustive neuron, potassium permanganate, ethanol, nitric acid, hydrochloride acid, sodium hydroxide, pesticide, butane, and propane. Evacuate your areas immediately. A fire hazard is imminent. Take cover now. Shelter in place warning for the entire eastern portion of Maryland. The following message has been transmitted by request from the National Guard. The fire threats have been raised from severe to critical. Also, toxic smoke inhalation is present in the bituminous coal burning a whopping 5,000 degrees. The temperature so far is climbing around 170,000 degrees. Anyone who is in a shelter, do not open your windows. You are exposing yourself to 6th degree burns and smoke inhalation. Listen to later statements on your television station serving your area. Stay tuned for further updates. Telephone outage warning, the following message has been transmitted by request from the Chase Emergency Management. At around 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a confirmed report of 911 calls poured into the hotline. The power wires that burned from the explosions earlier are now forbidden to be shut off. All technicians are advised to stay away from the areas. Stay away from areas near or around water. Do not touch the wires even if they are dead. You are exposing yourself to fatal electrocution. 
Wait for emergency power to be shut off before repairs. Listen to later statements on this developing story. Stay tuned for further updates. This just in, the power lines have been fully replaced, and all emergency power has been shut off for safety to all technicians. Also, the investigation confirms that no foul play was involved. All the crew members aboard all three trains were tested negative for any drugs or alcohol use. The investigation hasn't been released to media outlets yet, so stay calm. Stay tuned for further updates on 1240 FM on your radio dial for further statements as this story fully develops. This just in, it was confirmed that 7 of the 11 locomotives involved in the wreck are being sent to be scrapped by the respectful owners 4 of them are being sent to the locomotive shops for further rebuilding. Also, the investigation mentioned earlier, is nearing its conclusion. Also, 93 freight cars involved in the wreck are completely destroyed. Another 18 are being scrapped on site. The rats are being sent to a car repair shop for overhaul and evaluation. Tune to 1240 FM on your radio dial for more info on this dangerously developing story. Take cover now. We are sorry to interrupt your news stations on Weta. This is an emergency update to the wreck at Edgewood Interchange, right across from Chase, Maryland. This message has been transmitted by request from the Maryland State Police, the Chase Police Department, the Amtrak and Conrail Board of Directors, and Operation Lifesaver. The cause of the crash is confirmed. Inconsistent training and human errors were made in this horrific disaster. No criminal charges will be filed due to honest cooperative behavior. Upgrades will begin tomorrow morning. We thank you for your cooperation during this emergency. We will return to regular programming back to Weta. This concludes operations under the emergency broadcast system. Oh, my God.